Hey, hi all. In our previous video, uh, we have learned about uh, removing duplicates from uh, a document list. So in this video, uh, let's uh, learn about how to send uh, PDF attachments email. So it's a bit different from the way we send uh, HTML emails and uh, other emails. So let's see what are the common mistakes we make while sending a PDF mail and how to rectify that. So let's start. So I've downloaded a sample PDF file from the internet, which is looking like this. Yeah. So let's say that, uh, let's take this kind of use case. So client uh, places some files, PDF files at uh, one of the location accessible by web methods. And uh, we need to read those uh, emails and then upload that to the SharePoint or some other uh, email sites. Uh, so how we can generally do that? So these kind of cases will be mostly used uh, where uh, they wanted to, let's say they, they write the data from one location. Let's say they consume the database details and all those things and form some uh, string data or XML data and convert that into HTML formats and form, uh, form a table data and place in PDF. And that PDF we need to uh, send as an attachment to emails and uh, all those things. So let's see how we can uh, do this. So let's start with the implementation. I've created this PDF email thing here. So let's start with send. So first I'll take this location. I'll use file get file to let that jspub dot file. And let's use the uh, SMTP email functionality, which we used in email demo. I'll just copy that, change according to my requirement. Paste it. Yeah. Send it. Subject, I'll change it as PDF email demo. this thing and content type which is application slash pdf text authorization it keep all these things as is so we'll directly map and uh, see what will happen now We got some error saying we cannot convert cast this to this thing. This type of errors occur when we are uh, not mapping the details correctly and uh, some stream data is mapped and some string data is missed. So what? let's go to this. But let's, let's see whether we are at least getting the file or not. Yes, the body is coming as stream, so we are able to get it, but it is failing when we are trying to send an email. Let's see. So, see what we have missed. Care set is not, of, this is optional, this is optional. We have mapped the content and all, yeah. 
let's see let's uh, see the body is important so let's keep it as please find the attached pdf to this email go and save it and then run it let's run it and see it filled it and then click ok Seems the email has sent successfully. Email says no name. That's how we get it. So we always we need to properly send the data. So now let me add the file name also. Just dot file name got changed, and this is how it is. Uh, so let's take one use case where the borders and all those things are there. some formatting and all those things here. Let's see how this will come. Set successfully. Something happened in uh, the encoding format and all. The first one got opened because it has no uh, uh, details and uh, no details properly. Like say it has no formatting options and all those things. So let's see how we can solve this. Getting this now. Let's uh, try the, uh, let we need to encode this thing with base. So, the encoding to this, save. This. See? So, when you are using PDFs, are sending any kind of data, always remember to encode the data so properly. If you don't encode the data properly, so you'll get uh, 
that weird kind of exceptions where uh, the data is sent, but it is not encoded properly and all those things. So if you remove the encoding from here and let's see whether this will work or not. You're only encoding when it is getting the file. I think it should work. If it doesn't work, then uh, we need to send it again. Yeah. See, file is received, but you're not able to uh, check it properly. Is having that issues with the encoding. So always use encoding when you are going to send the uh, data to uh, using uh, mm, what do you say attachments and all always encode. And when you receive that uh, in the emails, it will be encoded properly and you could see the proper formatting and all. If you don't encode it, you will get an email, but you'll the, the attachments will not be proper. So, and one thing is, if you observe every time it is coming as sample.pdf and all those things. So let's see whether we can uh, change the file name at runtime and uh, say it as, okay, so file name timestamp.txt and all those things. So in order to do that, just go to date functions, up dot date colon get current date time string and let me keep it as chich this is yeah pattern when I get this keep it is in value when I go here keep this as So even uh, you can pass the file name as input here and uh, use that file name there. I'll show you in the next step. So let's run this. See how this will come. Yeah, if I data is sent, use this. Now let's go and check. See, every time the file, uh, the date is appended, Now, if I send it again, get something as 2011738. So, this is how you generally do these things. And as I said, I'll send the file name in the input. Here, it is This would be useful for other people to understand, like say the receiving person to understand that they are receiving the uh, invoices file or whatever it is. So let's say if I'm trying to send an invoice file, I'll just name it as invoice. The person receiving will understand that, okay, Web Methods is trying to send me an in, uh, invoice file to me. So I'll get an email with invoice underscore file name that Data and file and all these things. Yeah. So this is how you do a PDF uh, email thing. Always remember to encode your uh, file when you are downloading it and also encode your file when you are sending the email.
if you don't encode if there is no formatting and all it works well but if there are any formatting or additional things like this they will fail thank you